Greetings, church family. My name is Reverend Tracy Blackman, and I am delighted to serve as your Associate General Minister of Justice and Local Church Ministries. When we're not in the midst of a pandemic, it is also my privilege to travel the breadth of our denomination nationally and to spend time with you in your churches. To worship with you, to commune with you, to get to know you better is indeed one of the highlights of this call. When Andrew Warner, our generosity officer, asked that I speak for a few moments about love of children, it was not a difficult task. I have so many stories I could tell of how I've seen love of children lived out in our local congregations, but he only gave me three minutes. So I'm going to lift two examples for you that I'm sure reverberate throughout our denomination. I happened to be at Plymouth UCC in Des Moines, Iowa, the Sunday they celebrated four-year-olds completing their classes to prepare them for big school. What a joy it is to witness discipleship in the church, the teaching of children, of what it means to be followers of Jesus. On this Sunday, those four-year-olds had the opportunity to come to the pulpit area and be celebrated by the entire church. They received Bibles and were able to express their gratitude to their parents and to their siblings. And then they were escorted to the middle aisle of the church where the entire congregation laid hands upon them and prayed for their school year and prayed for their strong witness of what it means to be a disciple of Jesus in big school. In Boston at Old South Church, I had the opportunity to preach both services and the first service is held in the alcove of the church, a small intimate area for a smaller group of congregants. After the sermon, communion happens. And before communion, a bell rang and the door sprang open and children began to flood into the room, waving their fingers at the communion table, participating in the blessing of the elements. How does this show love for children? It reminds us that there is no age discrimination in God, that we are all equally valuable and equally important in the kingdom. The children participating in communion reminds us of this. The United Church of Christ expresses love for children in so many ways, including even at General Synod, inviting children to have reflections and participation in our resolution process has certainly served to strengthen our commitment to the leadership of the next generation. Our children are not the church of tomorrow. They are the church of today, and they are the leaders of our next. How we invest in them speaks of what we think about God and what we think about the kingdom here on earth. I am deeply honored to be on this journey with all of you and to watch all the expressions of the way that we love children. Thank you for your generosity, your generosity financially, your generosity spiritually, your generosity intellectually, your generosity of presence. May God bless you in all that you do. And may we continue to love our children together. Oh.